okay so the human digestive system is our topic of today so let's talk about the how digestion occur in our body so we'll be discussing one by one every and each step of the digestion of you can say that the human digestion okay so human is basically the example of the heterotroph organism okay so human is the advanced example of the heterotroph what is heterotroph heterotroph means that a organism that is that do not make their own food inside their body they rely on other organisms like plant but plant is autotrophic they make their own food in their body but we we don't make the, our own food so that's why the terminology terminology is heterotroph so we are heterotroph organism and we are the complex heterotroph as you guys all know and the complete digestion occurs in our body through the many organ organs we are having we are having the gut we are having many things that the digestion occurs through which the digestion occur so the complete digestion occur in our body occurs in our body okay and you can say that the digestion in our body is extracellular extracellular means outside of the cell why because as you guys all know that we eat the macromolecule that are the starch lipids okay carbohydrates so we eat the we eat the macromolecules so they are not they cannot cross the cell membrane they cannot diffuse directly that's why the digestion occurs outside of the cell first they will be con converted into the micromolecules then our body will be getting the energy from them so our digestion in our body digestion is extracellular digestion okay so the next point is that first of all what's the definition of digestion digestion means the complex substance that we eat or you can say the indiffusible or insoluble substance first of all converted into the simple substance or soluble or diffusible substance to which we can easily get energy after the diffusing of the diffusing into the blood or the in other organ, organs so that is digestion digestion means the complex substance that we eat that will be breaking down in many organs and then they will be converted into the simple substance that is called the digestion so that in digestion there are many steps okay so there are many like you can say the digestive system consists of many organs like you can say that a stomach small intestine large intestine and many others okay so this was the introduction of the digestion now the next point is that in our body there are two opening number one is mouth okay number one is mouth and second is anus mouth through which we eat the food we ingest the ingestion occurs we intake the food through our mouth and anus is a single is a opening through which the unwanted substance excrete out through our body so in our in our body there are two openings one is the ingestion of the mouth and the sec and the second one is the defecation of the waste particle so we are in our body we are having we are having a two openings so that okay so you were at the human digestion system okay so uh, as i told you that the mouth and anus mouth and anus combined we call the gastro intestinal tract which is g i t okay so our digestive system consists of many steps that through which the digestion occur what is mouth oral cavity or buccal cavity pharynx esophagus 
esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine and finally the anus. So there were two steps through which the digestion occurred. So we will be, we will be going through with the detail of the digestion. So the first one is the mouth. Okay. So mouth is for is embedded with uh, the lips, fleshy lips, which is for the ingestion of the food through which we eat the food, through which we inject the food, that is lips. Okay, let's move towards the oral cavity. So the oral cavity is basically the mouth open into a space. A wide space is called the oral cavity the mouth open into a white or large space or a room like space is called the oral cavity okay so the oval oral cavity is formed of upper jaw and lower jaw in which in which teeth are there okay upper jaw And the lower jaws okay so they are embedded with these and and in mouth there is a muscular tongue on the floor which is rely on the floor muscular tongue is also present in the buccal cavity or oral cavity muscular tongue okay so the so the roof of the oral cavity is formed of a bony structure that is hard palate hard palate for example this is our mouth with we are having the teeth like this and you can see that the upper side that is called the hard palate that is having a bone like structure okay so they are having a bone like structure which is the uh, maxillary bone or you can say that the palatine bone that is present in the hard palate and the heart and there is the entirely back side of the hard palate there is a soft palate as well in soft palate there is not any kind of a bone they are just formed of the cartilage for the flexibility okay so they are the in the back side of the the upward side the upward side you can see in your mouth the upward side of the teeth or you can see the upper jaw the upper side there is a bone like structure that is palate so we are having the two type of palate that is hard palate and soft palate okay so then they are the they the through the soft soft palate so the, at the backward of the soft palate there is a muscular uvula is there like this so this is the uvula that is present in our mouth what is uvula uvula is basically muscular type okay so they are basically helps in swallowing and yawning you can say they just sp sp provide the support okay so this is the uvula as you can see in our mouth there is a around uh, the backward of the soft palate there is a uvula present okay so at the side of the uvula there is a plateau glossal arch this is the plateau glossal arch this is the you can say that this is the plateau glossal arch which is responsible for the support of the uvula you can say that okay so and our mouth is having a cheeks that is connected to the you can say that uh, we our mouth is like uh, at the outside of the mouth we are having a cheeks okay 
so we are having a cheeks for the you can say that with the jaws they are the teeth for cutting or grinding of the food teeth in our mouth is for the cutting or the grinding of the food of the food okay so as you can this is the important point that the upper jaw is fixed upper jaw teeth are fixed okay so the upper jaw teeth are fixed but as you can say that the lower jaw they are fixed but they are movable we can move our jaw the lower jaw we can move but the lower jaw but if you talking about the upper jaw they are fixed they cannot move cannot move but the lower jaw can move so we are done with the hard palate uh, soft palate uh, uvula and one thing is more remaining that through the fleshy lips and the teeth there is a space in through the flesh these is the lips and these are the teeth so there is a space between both that is called the vestibule okay so that is called the vestibule okay so the teeth are basically for the mechanical digestion for the chewing process for the grinding process so that is called the mechanical digestion in the mouth the mechanical digestion occurs so this was the oral cavity as you can say that the buccal cavity which is consist of many parts like hard palate soft palate tongue oral cavity soft palate and you can say the roof of tongue which is consist of palates which is hard and soft that is there is a uvula as well uh, plastoglossal plato glossal are soft palate tongue teeth so we are done with this the you can say that the oral cavity okay so in the next video we'll be moving towards the teeth